Jason here, coming to you today here on the Blood Church channel. Hope you um, are having a blessed day. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, thumbs up. We're a group of Bible-believing Christians rightly dividing the word of truth, looking forward to our blessed hope. Titus 2.13, and the soon return of Jesus Christ at the rapture. If you're not saved, get saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. Past, present, future sins can all be washed away. When you believe with your heart, confess with your mouth. The Gospel of 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4 where Jesus died and he was buried and he rose the third day. Now he died for you because one sin is enough to send you to eternal hellfire made for Satan and the fallen angels. Get saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. It's a free gift. No works. Ephesians 2, 8, and 9 tell us, lest any man can boast. Take a look at Revelation chapter 7. This is a parathetical chapter. And in Revelation chapter 7, you see de more details of the tribulation. You learn about the 144 natural Jews that have to um, be a part of the tribulation. And of course, they're, they have the, the seal of the Lord in their foreheads. Deuteronomy 32.5, Ezekiel chapter 9. And they're, tw they're from the 12 tribes. Or, uh, again, 12,000 from each. And these are physical children of Israel. And... Um, Judah is included, as well as the you know as one of the tribes where Dan and Ephraim has been replaced by Joseph and Levi. In Revelation, you know, fourteen, we see the hundred and forty-four where they're raptured and they're virgin males. And so some of this is pointed out, and this is a, you know for that reason a really important chapter. We see Revelation seven nine. We see the post-tribulation saints, Gentiles saved of all nations. Um, these would be the sheep nations. Revelation seven fourteen. These that came out of tribulation, and and then we see all tears will be wiped away of this group. And we head into chapter eight of Revelation, where you have the trumpets. We, we covered the seals, but now we have the trumpets. And what's introduced here, and, and obviously is interesting, silence a half an hour. There's really no cross-reference, no real details given in the Bible to give away, you know, what it means, only speculation. But Revelation 8, 2 for 3, we, you know, we're, after the silence, we're starting the tribulation again. And the trumpets, they start up. And the prayers of the saints go up at verse 4, and God answers with judgment and wrath. So we have the first trumpet at verse 7, and an angel sounds, and hail fire mixed with blood. And the third part of the trees um, are burnt. And then we have verse 8, we have a second trumpet, a great mountain burning with fire cast into the sea, and a third part of the sea turns to blood. And so you see these, you know, these these trumpets. Verse 9, verse 10, verse 11, and 12, you have a third angel sounded in a third part parts and you ha of the world. Um, we, ha we, ha we have the waters turning bitter with, with wormwood striking the earth. Verse 12, 13, we see the fourth trumpet and we see a third of the sun, moon, and stars darkened. And so, you know, certainly a lot of destruction. In Revelation 9, 3, we, we get to the fifth trumpet where we have locusts, we have the bottomless pit, monsters out of the bottomless pit. And torments for five months. We see it in Revelation 9 11, Abaddon, the destroyer. And Apollyon also means destroyer. destroyer. And there's more details in Revelation 11 and 13, which we'll get to later on. Verse 13 there's a trumpet, four angels are loose from the, and underneath the rivers of Euphrates. And we know that, that that dries up so the 200 million man um, 
horseback carrymen, uh, cavalrymen, excuse me, can cross the Euphrates River. And this is a demonic army. And um, they'll battle against the Lord of Revelation 16, 12. It's a UN-led army. And um, it's an army that... Uh, that will be that the Lord will draw for destruction, and of course we're you know we're looking for our blessed hope. We as Christians, you know, we as Christians are looking forward our blessed hope. We know the rapture is close at hand and and near, and 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 we're looking for Jesus Christ um, at the soon return at the rapture of the church. So anyway, God bless. Hope this has been a blessing. If you're not saved, get saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. God bless.